What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another For Life video if you're new. Make sure you leave your theories, comments, everything down below in the comment section. If you're a fan of For Life, if you love For Life, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you can always see when I'm dropping some content so you never miss any For Life news. Now, this is going to be my review for For Life Season 1, Episode 11, titled Switzerland. And based off the trailer, man, this really looked like it was going to be a crazy-ass episode. And so it was. So it was. Uh, this was a fire episode. In my opinion, this was the best episode yet for For Life. And um, I don't think any episode is going to top this. Even the season finale, man, I think this right here, this episode was just too damn fire. Now, before we get into the discussion, if you guys enjoy discussions like this, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you can never miss any other uploads. Now, as you guys know, last week's episode was a flashback episode, and now this episode was a really dramatic episode. Now, it sets the scene nicely for the finale ahead and also raises some serious stakes for Aaron Wallace to deal with. Now, he's torn between helping Jamal and looking out for his own case. The episode begins with Jamal, and it shows him bleeding out. Then it shows our present timeline, and it shows Aaron looking over the evidence against Maskins in his cell. While Aaron's looking over everything in his cell, Captain Foster has a retirement party thrown for him after his resignation in the last episode. Now, news of this gets around the prison, and Cassius calls... Aaron over to him in the yard for legal advice. Aaron refuses to help him and to be completely honest I don't blame Aaron because ever since Cassius got to Belmore this dude has done nothing but caused problems and I just don't blame Aaron for refusing to help him. To be honest uh, forget Cassius man he's on bullshit and I wouldn't help him either. He already helped him once and that was good enough he didn't appreciate it so it is what it is. Now Marie and Henry head to the prison where they feed back the good news to Aaron about Jasmine's social media chatter. They've uncovered some big ties to Maskin's involving a girl and a hedge fund manager that's been a big donor for Maskin in his mayorship campaign. Because you know Maskin's is running for the head district attorney and he's trying to he's trying to have it all man. He's not stopping until he becomes the top man. Now this could be enough to really help Aaron in his case and potentially swing it in his favor. I don't know. We just have to see. Now, Aaron's roommate Jamal is beaten up by the guards on behalf of Cassius Dawkins. Because you already know Cassius is a straight bitch. It is what it is, man. Um, he gets what's coming to him. We're going to talk about it. Now, Jamal tells Aaron to stay away from him. Otherwise, things will get worse. Now, soon after this... Cassius confronts him in the mess hall and asks Jamal just what he needs to do to get Aaron talking. Getting nowhere, he speaks to the captain instead, and he makes a deal to frame Aaron as the rat. And that's just some really messed up shit that they're trying to frame Aaron as the rat, knowing he's fighting for his life and he's trying to get out of prison. But they're just trying to make his life extremely more difficult. This was a messed up idea, especially after Sophia's idea to toss all the jail cells and take the religious books. Of course, this was how Captain Foster was smuggling all the drugs into the prison. If you guys didn't know, he was using that technique. Now, Jamal eventually caves and makes a deal with Cassius. He's desperate for peace. He just wants the peace between Aaron and Cassius or whoever, man. Jamal's a good person and he don't want to see people fighting like that. This is when we get the surprising news, too, that Jamal is gay. Um, if you guys didn't know, this was surprising to me. You know, I got nothing against somebody that's gay. It's just something that surprised me because I didn't know. Not one bit. Um, he tells him to live his life and forget about him before heading back to his prison cell and preparing for the worst. Um, you could tell Jamal once was in love with him. They were sitting in the visiting room and... All Jamal's friends and everybody in there was looking at him crazy like, what? Like, he's gay? Is this for real? They was looking at him crazy like they really were surprised, as was I. Um, now, Jamal straps magazines to his stomach. He pours salt into his pockets and leaves a note for Aaron telling him to stay away from the gym. 
The captain is kept under surveillance by Sophia, and she watches on the monitors as he leaves the bathroom with a Bible, something that immediately rings alarm bells for her. You know, Sophia gets immediately suspicious. Before she can look further into this, a fight breaks out in the gym, a fight that quickly becomes a riot. And Darius was actually there to see Aaron, and instead of Aaron going to see Darius because he knew he had a visitor, he wanted to go to the gym instead because he got Jamal's note and he wanted to come and help Jamal because that's his best friend, that's his roommate, and he's been cool with Jamal since he got into prison, so he wants to do whatever he can to help his boy. Now, going into the fight in the gym, Jamal tosses salt and catches his eyes and stabs him in the neck. Stabs him in the neck. Damn. However, Cassius is too strong and stabs Jamal in the heart. And I really thought it was bad for Jamal. I really did. Um, it probably still is, to be honest. It didn't show him die, but there's a possibility he might die. Now, as he drops to the ground, Wild Bill unleashes his dogs. And they get on Cassius, trying to beat him down. Now, Jamal is bleeding out, and the inmates try to help him. Now, Wild Bill is attacked from behind by one of Cassius's men. And he beats him with a weight. He beats him with a weight. And I'm pretty sure Wild Bill is going to die. Um, there's no way you're surviving something like that. Also, Aaron is smashed in the face with weights too. So Aaron's looking pretty messed up at this point. Now it's pure chaos. And everything's real chaotic. And just everything's going down at this moment. Um, Darius is calling Marie and telling her what's going down. And Marie... And Jasmine are worried about Aaron and wondering what's going on. They're talking about they're about to come up there, but they can't because the prison's on lockdown. And Aaron's just lying there bleeding out on a hospital bed. But unfortunately, Jamal doesn't make it. At least that's what they want us to think because they load up a stretcher on the ambulance and drive off. And this is where the episode ends. So we don't know the fate of Cassius or Jamal and you know, I just really, really hope Jamal survives because I really like Jamal's character. He's always been real with Aaron. He's always been his boy, and I just don't want to see him go. I hope we get a season two, but I also hope that Jamal survives. Now, in my personal opinion, the fight scene in a gym, I feel like that's been building up for a few episodes, and it definitely didn't disappoint, man. It kept my attention. I was not bored with this episode at all. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this was the best episode yet. This episode is definitely one of the strongest of this season, and I don't know if they're going to top this, to be honest. Now, we got two episodes left because there's 13 episodes in this season, but in my opinion, this episode was fire as hell. You know, this episode was so damn good. Um, my heart was beating watching that fight at the end. I was nervous. My anxiety was on 10. And let me know what you guys thought, man. Let me know what you guys thought. Comment down below and let me know if you guys really enjoyed this episode. Did you enjoy that fight? And did you see it coming? Because, man, man, I did not see that shit coming. But it was definitely worth it. And it was worth the watch. I'm glad I saw this episode. And I just look forward to the next two episodes. I'm trying to see what happens with Cassius and Jamal. And also, I want to see Aaron get out of jail. I hope we get to see that. But, man, this episode was amazing. I really loved it. And that's pretty much all I got to say, man. This, this was a recap and a review. And as far as my review goes, man, all I can say is that episode was fire as shit. And, man, what an episode. But I'll be continuing to bring you guys more For Life content in the future. If you guys want to donate to the channel to help support the channel, I got links in the description to do so. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.